Hello, I'm Eugene Cap, and this is Captain Design TV, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Adobe Fuse CC. Now, right now it's only in preview mode. There isn't a full copy out there, but this will basically give you the tools to build 3D models very easily, manipulate how they look, and then send them to Maximo, or you can import them into Cinema 4D or Cinema 4D Lite or Photoshop or whatever your editing program is, and you have available 3D models, which is, well, awesome. So we already have things like face tracking technology for After Effects, and now I'm hoping that eventually this will fuse with that. Aha, <laughs> get it, fuse? and we'll be able to capture facial expressions and the models will animate accordingly. Wouldn't that be sweet? Anyway, that's what I'm hoping Adobe is eventually going to be doing. But anyway, uh, they made this program very, very simple to use and it may be just because it's so early on in its functionality that we can easily navigate and we can't, won't get lost in it like a whole bunch of bells and whistles. Um, so once you open it up, you'll have this very basic screen and it goes through on our left, we'll have our position tool, our rotate tool, our selection tool, a subsection selection tool, and then a polygon selection tool. Now, the first thing we're probably going to want to do is grab a head. And I'm gonna go with this tune female. And I'm gonna go with tune female body. And it'll just really go through the motion of selecting all your different body parts. Now, you don't have to select, you know, everything in unison, but I, I think it just, it just helps. All right, so tune A. Okay. So we have our base model, which is awesome. And now what we can do is customize it once you have it in assembly. So right now we're doing the render shaded faces. You can also look at it in wireframe. And then we can do wireframe and finish. Or we can also look at the faces and edges. So basically what the model looks like with the wireframe on. I'm just gonna go back to finished. And the next thing to do is customize. Now, this gives you a lot of different options as far as what you want to create. So what I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to make an alien. I'm going to take this model and I'm going to turn it into some sort of alien human gray hybrid thing, which will be pretty sweet. So maybe the arms are just really thin. Wow. That's like really, really thin. That's like super flat. That's weird. Okay. A little bit of girth on it. Uh, let's do overall tones. Now let's go down a little bit. That way it extenuates that neck. Um, forearms. Let's go down. Let's make the hands really, really big. And really thin. Now we want really big hands. Because, you know, aliens. Alien gray hands. Uh, shoulders. It's big shoulders to hold onto those big hands. And let's, let's go to face. So I'm gonna go ahead and focus a little bit more here on the face. I'm gonna turn it just a little. And we have the ability to select the expression, which is really funny to me. So, cocky, <laughs> we have goofy expression, ah, uh, worried, worried and happy. You can even mix the expressions, 
for something more complex. Uh, you can create cross-eyed. No. Hilarious. Alright, I'm gonna model the head around just a little bit. And you know what? I'm not gonna do it with just the settings. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the different sections. So I'm gonna increase the brain size because it's an alien. And I'm going to extend the eyes a little bit, shrink, bring out the jaw, make the cheekbones going. We can even mess with the ears a little bit. Cool, it's looking very alien. Touch the nose a little bit. Make the nose super small. Okay, not that small. Super alien-esque. Look at that. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Super brain. Super brain. Um, let's go to textures. Now, in the textures pal, all right, so you can do clothing. Uh, this is an alien. So, you know, I feel like we should just be putting on some, some pants. Put some pants on. Maybe, Maybe this alien likes to be super relaxed. Okay, let's put some, let's put a top on. Scrubs. This alien works at a hospital, okay? Uh, so next, we're gonna go to textures and we can grab skin and the skin should, should be gray. Which is awesome. Um, so skin. Um, we can bring up veins. Add some beauty marks. Um, ugh, what is that? Go pretty white. Um, let's let's add some age. Oh, that is looking like an alien. There is a little bit of clipping right here. So I'm gonna go back. Okay, not so much now. Um, you know what, let's, let's take a look at the eyes. I'd, I don't want human eyes, I want like cat eyes. And the iris color should be, should be red. That's a pretty sweet looking alien right there. Not too sure about the hair, but whatever, it's a hybrid. You know what? I think it needs really big feet. There we go. Big feet. Big feet to match those big hands. There we go. You know, he kind of looks like Roger a little bit from uh, American Dad. You watch that show? I do. Love that show. Okay. And then when we're done, we'll just go save to CC libraries. We will call it alien one and we'll hit save and it will export our model 
to our Creative Cloud. Well, anyway, I, ho I hope you liked that little preview about what Adobe has in store for us. Um, I'm very excited about this brand new piece of software. It looks like it's gonna have a lot of functions within some of the other um, available um, tools that Adobe has, such as After Effects and Photoshop, really. You know what, Photoshop and Illustrator, those are really the only two you need. Um, I'm hoping they'll start diving into some more complex 3D um, applications. But imagine exporting this to Cinema 4D Lite, saving it as an OBJ file with some animation after it's been rigged, and then you can drop it into like Element 3D. Completely textured and just ready to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button. Um, if you want to continue on this journey and see more videos as they come out, I try to do a couple every single week, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.